Hello, anybody who discovers this video, whether you searched it out or it landed in your lap. Uh, today, I'm going to be attempting to teach you how to model swap uh, similar objects, like objects, like uh, two longbows. Take one model from one and put it on the other. Um, the reason I wanted to do this and wanted to learn how was to change the rusted bow to look like the bezel crown. Because I like the bezel crown and how it looks, I just don't like consuming like 200% of my stamina. Um, so I wanted to look without all the debuffs and I was able to achieve it. So I had to follow some tutorials online that were all pretty much text based. And while I got there, it was kind of a headache. So. I wanted to lay out a visual representation on how to do this and that's why we're here today so your first thing you're gonna have to do is going to be download arc tool from the link in the description um, the proper link should probably come with more batch files than this uh, but I ended up getting the arc tool with the DDDA tool on the Nexus mods website so I had to create this batch file myself and if you ever do have to do that you just write in arc tool space minus dd space minus xfs space minus text re6 space minus always comp space minus pc space minus txt space minus v space 7 space minus xfs space percent 1 space percent percent 2 space percent 3 space percent 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 all the way down to the end and then save it as a dot bat um, all right now that you are ready to go with that we're gonna seek out the files that we would like to um, mod and I'm gonna do that by following this link which I will also put in the description here um, to figure out which bow it is that I'm modifying so I'm looking for the bezel crown and that's going to tell me it is bbw013.arc. And the rusted longbow is actually right after that at bbw020.arc. So we're going to right click on Dragon's Dogma and Steam. And we're going to browse local files, native PC, ROM, WP, W2. And here we have bbws. We can find bbw20 and 13 and copy those files into the arc tool folder by control C and control V. Okay, I'm really sorry for that cut there, but um, I did accidentally paste the wrong file, so I had to go and correct that. And I also realized that the file from the destination I was showing you was already modded, so I had to go into my own backup folder, which is a good time to segue into, I shouldn't have to tell you this, but back up your files, the ones that you are editing and replacing for your game in case you do something wrong because I know I did something wrong about three or four times before I got this right so you are not completely screwed if you just cannot get this and decide to give up for the day week month or whatever I'm not responsible back up your files thank you very much moving on the first thing we're gonna do now is drag both of these files independently one by one onto the PC-DD batch file we're going to go into the BBW013. These are the models that we are trying to copy onto BBW20. So we're going to mess with that first. Go in, go to the model folder, WP, BBW, and we're going to copy this whole folder, BBW013. Okay, then we'll go into the BBW020 model, WP, BBW, and when we see the BBW and the model number after it we are going to paste the folder that we copied go inside this bbw013 mod dot mod file and the dot mrl file we are going to cut out of the folder and we are going to paste them in here and then we will delete the similar files with the 999 model on it and rewrite these to have the same name as the ones that we just deleted. Perfect, that part of it is done. Then we have the texture files left over in this BBW013 folder. 
And now the only thing left to do is to find the arc.arc .arc text file that goes with this folder, 020. And we are going to come in here and we are going to edit and replace. And we're going to find every instance of the number we want replaced with the number we want to replace it with, which would be we're replacing 999 with 013. I'm going to replace every one for each of the texture files. And then as you see, when we get to the MRL file, I'm going to not replace those because we did that uh, manually by putting them into that BBW999 folder and renaming them. So those can stay the same. Then click Save. Take the BBW020 uh, folder or whichever file you were modifying and drag it back on top of PC-DD. Check your log file to make sure everything uh, went smoothly. It did. It says BBW020.arc created with seven files, all files compressed. All right, so now this BBW020 uh, .arc file, we are able to come back to the local files for Dragon's Dogma, native PC, ROM, WP, W2. And if you drag this file in and replace it, then you will be able to load up your game. And when you load up and go to your equipment, I've got the rusted longbow here, new to equipment, and as you see, it says unequip, which means that is in fact the bow that I have equipped. So, rusted longbow, as you see, equip, and it turns out it actually looks like the bezel crown. So, yeah, it's actually fairly simple. I just had never seen it visually represented, and I'm more of a visual learner myself, so I figured a lot of people out there are as well. But this is so easy that I thought it would be crime to not share it with everybody who at least is exposed to this post. So, thank you very much for watching. If you learned something, feel free to subscribe. It is free. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.